Hello you guys, I just wanted to do this short video. It's basically some thoughts about this cruise. So people might have some questions. I've certainly learned a lot about cruising. It's been about 23 years since I was on my last cruise, but um, there's some things. Overall, we're having a good time. Um, we're, let me just show you. But, I'm just going to give you for reference. See those cabins? This is a cabin directly across from ours. The lower, the first level of cabins there from the slide up. You see the first cabin, then the second cabin in. That's directly across from where our cabin is. Okay, just so you get an idea. But anyway, um, we're at the very, very, you can't get a cabin any further back on this ship than the one right next to us here or mine or pretty much most of these back here these cabins but anyway a couple thoughts about that you can feel the ship moving this sucker is big and this thing's moving picture a cork on the water on the ocean the back of the ship is got the shimmy shake sometimes uh, but it, right now it's a good, good, good pitch back and forth. Um, when you go into the bathroom, you open up the toilet cover, you can see that water just back and forth. It's quite, quite interesting. It's not bothersome. It hasn't bothered Sue really. Neither one of us have got any type of seasickness from that. Um, although we had some issues with the first couple of days here, intestinal. Yeah. Fortunately, nothing horrible. Um, but anyway, you can feel the ship moving. And I just come from the center of the ship on deck five. It's called the Grand Promenade. It's like a ball. You'll see some video I'm going to take of it. And even in the center of the ship down low, where they claim it's the best place to be for movement, you can feel this ship moving. It's, uh, it's kind of at times, it's kind of like a. a a, a throw ride or amusement park ride. Well, not that crazy, but you know. Uh, I just come down the corridor or the hallway to my room, again, at the back of the ship. And to get anywhere, I gotta go pretty much dead center to the ship. And on the ship's downward pitch, if you're, if you're, when you're walking forward, sometimes that downward step is way downward. It's hard to explain, but it's a sea legs thing, I guess. If you've cruised, you know what I'm talking about. Another thing is, in ports, or yeah, in ports, you've noticed, if I, like, your sea legs are still with you in port, you can still feel the ship moving. It's quite interesting. Not too bothersome, right? It doesn't bother me. Sue really hasn't had a hard time with it. Um, some other things, cruising is, it's a good bargain. But they can nickel and dime you to death, like with a water package or, or drinks package and so on. Of course, it's in the fine print. Nobody ever reads the fine print, but when we get on board, we found out Sue got the beverage package, which isn't booze, it's just smoothies, waters, sodas, coffees, all that. She got that, and, but it's restricted. In other words, if she wants two bottles of water, she can't get two bottles of water. She has to get one bottle of water, go, and go out and get in line again and get another bottle of water. And I kind of got a beef with that because I think water's a human right. It should be readily available to you, especially with the cruise page, okay? But it is, you gotta buy your water. So, um, when we got to port in Puerto Rico yesterday, there's a Walgreens and a CVS directly across the street. Port and I bought a 24 pack of water, five bucks. When I'm bored the ship, it'd be like 40 bucks. So, there's some, there's some things to look out for. Um, food, uh, the buffet in the main dining room, food, it's the exact same thing. So, if you want to go into the main dining room and sit down and be served and have that, that experience, it's all well and good. But, you know, if you want, you can go to the buffets and get the same exact thing, as little or as much as you want, uh, in pretty quick time too. So, you know, 
fun in that regard. It's been good. The uh, breakfast have been knocked out of the park. Most of the food's been really good. There's a few things kind of funky, but overall, food's been good. You can pay extra for steakhouse dining, hibachi dining, and things like that. You don't really have to do that. You can get away without it if you want. Um, let's see. Movement of the ship. Food. Let's see what else. Oh yeah, some of the ports of call. Any seasoned traveler knows that there's always going to be somebody out there trying to exploit you. Uh, and they tried that with us. I, I made a Facebook post about it. The cab driver. Uh, I asked him specifically uh, how much. And he knew we were going before we I told him, and he said six dollars back to ship. He held up as five, and then a thumb on the other hand, meaning six. And he said six dollars back to the ship. So I'm like, okay. So we jumped on board, and then we got back to the to the port to get on the ship. He says nine dollars. He says I made a mistake. I said, what do you mean you made a mistake? He said, I thought you were going to the shopping district. I said, no, you didn't. I said, I asked you specifically, and you told me, and I held up my hands like you did. And he said, no, 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 it's $9, nine. I said, really? I said, call the police on Call the cops. I said, and I got right out there and said, excuse me, there's port security there. I got port security over it. Port security was right on board with him. They're like, oh, he made a mistake. Are you really going to argue over a few dollars? Well, he had a van load of people that their taxi ride went from, everybody's went from six to nine. Most everybody paid it until I put up a stink and then anybody behind me didn't pay it either. But um, the port security guy come over and he was trying to say, oh, the guy made a mistake. Do you really want to argue over a few dollars? And I said, yes, I do. Yes, I do. I said, and he, he started to go in again and I said, police, police. I said, excuse me. Sorry about that. I said, call the police, call the cops. And they're like, oh, no, 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 no need to do that. No need to do that. So the cab driver gave us our money back. You see what I already paid him. She didn't know. She didn't hear any of this, the negotiation or when I asked the price. She was busy focusing on crossing the street. Anyway, she didn't hear any of this, so she paid him. And then when I put up a stank, I said, what? I was like, no, no, no. He drove us maybe two miles. He wanted to charge us nine bucks a piece. I don't think so. so. Out of the ports, the one that left the foulest taste in my mouth really was the Virgin Islands. Um, some of the shops we went into were the people were, were rude. And that's not me. That was what Sue was saying. It seems one of the easiest going people you could ever meet. <laughs> so for her to say somebody's rude, they have to be really rude. Um, I mean, she puts up with me. Right. Sometimes it, I can be class A but when it comes to protecting myself. But anyway, um, Puerto Rico was great, uh, but we only learned after the fact that Uber works in Puerto Rico. And what we paid the tour operator to drive us essentially maybe seven miles total on the tour and get and spend at least a good half hour of that in traffic, heavy traffic. We could have accomplished more with Uber, but they don't want people to know that. Uber works in Puerto Rico, but it doesn't work in the Virgin Islands, and it needs to because they got a racket going on there. Uh, it's a mill. You get off a ship, it's a it's a mill. It's a racket. And, and some shysters and hustlers uh, playing the game running the game so it's kind of uh, not depressing but it's it's a bummer you know but that's any way you go when you travel I learned that a long time ago it was the first time the Jehovah's in the airport in Salt Lake City handed me a Bible one of their Bibles or something and said it was free then all of a sudden it was ten dollars <laughs> I didn't know any better. I paid him. I didn't know. So, um, no, that wasn't the Jehovah's. That was the Hare Krishna's. That's what it was. It was a long time ago. So, 
these are some of my thoughts um, so far. Been pretty interesting. This is the this is what I look down upon. This is called the boardwalk. There's uh, playmakers. Oh, I gotta tell you about playmakers. Then there's Johnny Rockets. Playmakers is a sports bar. And Johnny Rockets, well, everybody knows who Johnny Rockets. And beyond that is a candy shop with ice cream, and then a hot dog place. But Playmakers, let's let's talk about Playmakers. Okay. We ate at Playmakers twice. First day, and then I think later in the year. On the first day, we ate there twice because we didn't have our bearings and it was close by, and we just won. Just, we were just hungry. But anyway, Playmakers is a is a sports bar. Okay, and it is. It has the TVs. It has all the hallmarks of a sports bar. But the food sucks, and I mean sucks. And I'm not exaggerating. And you pay for this. But basically, it's what you can go to Costco or BJ's or Sam's Club, buy in that frozen section and mass in bulk, and bring home and throw in the deep fryer and eat it. That's that's what Playmakers is, but it's lower quality than Costco. And the menu is very small, very limited, uh, not horribly priced, but the food sucks. Uh, the hamburgers, I had a hamburger tasted like one grade above dog food. Um, then that, later that night I had some type of buffalo chicken wrap or roll. Also was it was deep fried. Uh, and it wasn't good. I didn't even eat it all. Um, the hype, we watched a lot of cruise videos, cruise vloggers, and they always hyped up and said how wonderful Playmakers was. I call bullshit on Playmakers, that's for sure. And then another thing is they, um, they have a pizza place on board. It's called Sorrento's. It's nice. It has, it has you know, it's Italian themed and it has... Uh, mosaic artwork on the wall, and Italian style uh, cafe furniture, you know, it's nice, it's got nice ambiance. That pizza sucks, okay, and I'm not exaggerating. It's, I think it's 10 inch, thin crust, frozen ass cheese pizza that they throw toppings on. It ain't, it ain't good at all. We ate it once, we ain't going back to that shit. It was so greasy, and the reason why it's so greasy, I know, I know a little bit about food. I mean, look at me. Uh, that's not, by the way, after this cruise, back on, not diet, but back on a more solid lifestyle. Anyway, um, the pizza, it's, you know those Totino's pizza? And I'm not exaggerating. I am not exaggerating. Totino's, Totino's pizza. It's thin, it's fake cheese, it's greasy, it's gross, okay? If you've never had it, don't even bother to go out and try it just because you're hearing about it. It sucks. It's the worst of the worst, okay? And I know pizza. I know good pizza. I know bad pizza. I know good frozen pizza. And I know bad frozen pizza. And this Sorrento's pizza on board this ship. There ain't nobody back there throwing dough, spinning dough in the air. There ain't nobody kneading dough. There ain't nobody mixing yeast and flour and water. Ain't none of that, okay? At all. <laughs> you can't tell me. They got the pizza ovens. They got the guys running around in the chef's hats. They got they got it all, but it's all for show. Because I know, you know how I know. Also, it's like mass-produced pizza, like the, like these Totinos or whatever they are. They have like a coil uh, toast mark in the bottom of their pies. Okay, it's the ovens that they go through. It's like a, they have coils. They're on rollers. Anyway. That you lift up this this pizza, this Sorrento's pizza here on the ship. It's got the same patterns that you get on the frozen pizzas. Royal Caribbean, I challenge you to show me that your pizza is not frozen ass, cheap ass pizza because it's exactly what it is. If it isn't, I'll eat this hat because it, it's disappointing that you pay what you do for cruise fare to get crap like that. And I know it's just, not just me because both me and Sue had a reaction to that pizza and I won't get into the details of it, but it was directly from that pizza. I, mean, I haven't been back since. So anyway, uh, that's some of the bad food on this ship and it's free. The pizza's free, avoid it.
you know, at least right, at least on this cruise. I don't know. Um, I think that's pretty much so far. Um, this ship is, I really think it is sold out. It's not sold out. A lot of these cabins here, the inside cabins, I'll talk about that too. Um, these are balcony cabins. You pay almost full premium balcony prices if it's ocean view, but it's not. You don't really get an ocean view. You've got a lot of, got a lot of superstructure in the way. We see traces of water during the day. But anyway, these um, these interior cabins. I guess for a first cruise, not mine, but Sue's, it was good for her in that regard. But. It's worth the extra money to get at an ocean-facing cabin, and most people who cruise already know this. I'm talking to people who are friends of mine that have never cruised. It's just worth the extra money uh, because you're going to see things that you won't see with this stupid, in, stupid ass inside view cabin. So. And uh, crowds. Uh, this ship is. There's a lot of people on this ship, but I've never, other than embarkation day. Um, we've never felt the crowds as being horrible. Uh, in the morning, when I go down to get coffee or tea, uh, it's like the walking dead down there. Everybody, well, I guess I shouldn't talk too loud, but everybody down there is over 55. and <laughs> Some of them are quite, quite a bit over 55. And like I said, it's the walking dead. But um, it can be a little crowded early in the morning down there, everybody trying to get their caffeine. But other than that, getting on and getting off the ship at the ports has been seamless. This ship has an escalator on board, which it blows me away. Just, just among other things, it blows me away about this ship and its sheer size. But that's pretty much it. I just wanted to give some thoughts. Most of this is going to go on the YouTube channel. And I know this video is long for Facebook. Most people will click out, but that's cool. Most of this is going to be for the YouTube channel. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, shoot me a line. Talk to you later. Bye.